Okay, so I turned our light off so that you could see the board a little bit better. I did it. Brody turned the light off. And everybody, this is our dojo board. And when you all come back to school, we will have dojo up on our board all throughout the day so that kids can keep track of their points and they can see when somebody is rewarded with positive points. It'll make a sound. Um, it will also make a sound if somebody gets points taken away. Maybe they're not being a good listener or maybe they did something that they should not have done after they've been warned a couple of times about doing the same thing over and over and they get points taken away. Dojo also is a really good tool that I use for parent communication. So we've been messaging each other back and forth on Dojo every day and um, I've been posting things on our class story. So what I wanted to do today was just kind of show you what Dojo looks like. Everybody has their own avatar, so everybody has their own little monster with their name on it. And But ma mainly the reason why I wanted to pull the smart board up was to show you guys pictures that you all sent me of you guys doing things all by yourself. So I'm going to pull up our folder that I put everybody's picture in. And the first picture I'm going to show you is a picture of Jakari. I'm gonna zoom it in a little bit here so we can see Mr. Jakari. There he is riding his bike all by himself. So we read that story yesterday and the little critter in the book, the little guy in the book could ride his tricycle all by himself. And here is Mr. Jakari riding his bike all by himself. So he looks very handsome on that little bike and he's so happy and doing a good job riding that bike. So now let's see who we're going to see next. Here is Miss Rebecca. Let's see if I can make her just a little bit bigger. And Miss Rebecca's mama sent me this picture of her last night. And she said that she could build, get over here, Brody, that she could build a masterpiece all by herself. So she's used Legos and she's got a pretty little flower right here. And she has a cute little chicken right here. And she's built a Lego masterpiece all by herself. And look how happy she is. She's having fun with her um, Legos. So now let's go back and we're going to see another one. Hit a load. This is Liam. And Liam has written his name on his paper all by himself and he's written it in blue he likes the color blue his dad said and he likes the color green so he couldn't decide which was his favorite color so he wrote his name all by himself with the two colors that he is torn between which two or which one is his absolute favorite color so he did a really good job writing his name also we have miss peyton Let's make her a little bit bigger this is miss peyton and Peyton also has written her name on her paper. Look how happy she is. She's so proud of herself and she wrote it on notebook paper like a big girl. She started on the left hand side right there by the margin and wrote it from the left to the right. She did an awesome job writing her name. And one thing that I love about seeing these pictures of you guys is that I get to see your faces. And I get to see you guys smiling. When you all came to visit me, we had to wear masks. And when we come back to school, um, we have to wear masks when we come back to school. But in the pictures, when you all send me pictures or if you send me videos, I get to see your whole face. And I love seeing you guys and your smiles. So keep sending me pictures. Parents, if you just want to send me pictures of them working on Google Classroom things or a picture of them on their Chromebook working or something extra that they're doing, send me and Miss Bolin pictures because I always share them with Miss Bolin and we love seeing the kids at home working hard and we know that you all are doing a really good job with them at home. We can tell by the way that they come into the room, we've not had any trouble with anybody crying. Everybody's been happy when they get here and I think they're all excited to come to kindergarten and it is going to be different. It's not going to be the same what we're used to with uh, inside the school building as far as um, the way that we have to do things, wearing the masks, and I know that that's going to be hard, but we will get through it all together, and we are excited to have them come, and we can't wait to get started with them in person. And for those of you that are staying virtual, we're gonna keep up with you all daily also, 
And you all can still send me pictures, those of you that are staying virtual. You can send me photos of you all working at home too. I'd still love to see those since I don't get to see you in person every day or three days a week like I am everybody else. But I really appreciate everybody for working so hard with their kids. You are doing an awesome job. And if you need anything between now and when school starts with me or Miss Bolin, just call or message me on Dojo. We'll be glad to help you do whatever it is that you need help with. So keep watching our videos, keep working hard in Odyssey Wear, and those of you that are getting on Google Classroom, keep working on that. If you need help getting on there, you've not been on there yet, I'd be glad to help you do that. So we'll see you guys soon, and I'll do another video tomorrow. Bye.